Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. A terrifying ordeal in Campo this morning when a man stormed a school bus and pulled a knife on the driver. Students escaped out the back as Good Samaritans rushed to help prying the knife out of the man's hand. News 8's Heather Hope has more on the incident and what the suspect's father says triggered it. Heather? Frantic moments for this Campo community as neighbors saw Matt Barker charge his children's school bus with a knife, saying it's unlike him as they call him the kind cashier from the Golden Acorn Casino. That was it, was, it. it was the drugs because this is the first time I seen him display that kind of behavior. Uh, paranoid. He was paranoid. Seen rambling and out of sorts, 36 year old Matt Barker arrested in the back of a deputy's patrol car. He was mostly unresponsive, just yelling. Matt's father, Doug Barker, said his son had been spiraling for three days. Night before last, he dialed 911, uh, stating the cartels was going to kill his kids. Then the next night, same bizarre story. Border Patrol has brought him over here because he went to the Border Patrol and stated the same thing that somebody's trying to kill his kids. Matt has sole custody of his two young children after their mother died two years ago. His father says Matt was on a bad batch of drugs when he stormed on his children's school bus armed with knives. The kids came back all hysterical, seeing that their, their dad had a knife at the bus stop. Witnesses say Matt held a knife at the bus driver's throat before 8.30 a.m. near their apartment complex on Jeb Stewart Road. This as children were on their way to Campo Elementary School, who released a statement in part saying the bus driver responded immediately and no students were harmed. But his intentions was not to harm anyone in that bus, especially kids. His, his intentions was to protect his kids. Another parent flagged down a good Samaritan. That gentleman also got onto the bus. He actually helped wrestle the knife away. That student who kicked down the emergency door on the school bus was a cousin of the Barker family. Meanwhile, the district says that counselors will be available for students starting on Tuesday and that another school bus came to take the kids to school today. Back to you.